behind me is the field that we prepped a couple weeks ago. We uh, subsoiled it, went over it with a cul mulcher. We got fertilizer laid down. We've got uh, whatever grass was popping up here got sprayed the other day. Probably should go over it to till in the fertilizer. However, in the interest of time, I think we're just going to drill right through everything. This is giant miscanthus. So what we're going to do is this is what they look like. Just a root cutting and uh, you know we we'll just take these and put them through a tree planter and we're going to go along that residential area along the edge of this field and in three years that'll make a nice wall of grass there and sort of block out any activity that's over by the houses and you know there's kids playing there's people mowing their grass and whatnot but if we get enough of a buffer there that'll keep things quiet and then deer will be more likely to come out in the daytime to feed out here that's the idea so Carl's coming with the tractor with the uh, tree planter on it and I'll try to get a little bit of film of that I, I could use a uh, cameraman but I don't have one I'm not one of those rich fellas that do this you know the, the big influencers so it's just me so I'll do the best I can to uh, show you how we go about it Here's the setup. Huh? That cuts a, a nice slice in the ground. And then we drop the roots down in there. And then these tires in the back are supposed to close the furrow, but. With your weight on it, they will. Yeah, once I get my fat ass on there, it probably will. Carl says this field is not smooth enough. What do you guys think? Comment down below. <laughs> Nothing's ever good enough. I gotta untangle these things. Oh, that didn't go well. There we go. That's perfect. Hold up. That did not work. That thing just doesn't quite get down. There's there's so many stones buried in the field that it it's not making a good furrow. And I, I can, these things are too wide. See, some of them are kind of big, and that thing's made for little pine seedlings or some kind of seedlings. Now, ones that are this size, they go in fine, but. The bigger ones don't go through the machine. So we're going to modify the machine a little bit and see if we can't get it to work a little bit better. <laughs> this is the fun side of food plotting right here. Exactly. Steve can't walk, feel his toes, probably can't get a heart on for a month. There's room on that stump, but now the stump's clean over there. I got four befores in the truck to do that on. I'm not going and getting any more shit. I'm going to do it right here. <laughs> What we got? Okay. Well, here, these are done. You can have them. Fuck, we're going to do it live. Oh, God. All right, I'm back home, and I thought I would just close out this video. Uh, what we ended up doing was putting the planter back together the way it was, and then taking a hatchet and chopping the, the roots into a smaller size. And I think it really doesn't matter what size they are, they'll still grow. And um, 
that way they'll go down through that that uh, v-shaped deal it's about like that and you have to stick your uh, tree in there or in this case the root and uh, they weren't going down and I had to bend all the way like double to shove that thing down into the, the crevice that the planter was making and uh, my back was absolutely killing me after an hour of that so we got it working we got it to where I could just drop them down in there like you're supposed to and uh, put two rows of Alanthus uh, theoretically that's going to grow to be nine feet tall and in front of that we'll put two rows uh, uh, two planter widths which is about 10 feet of big blue stem it should be real nice looking border at that point up against those houses and buffer the housing from the field so that deer feel comfortable coming out there it closes it off the whole thing and then we'll make uh, smaller compartments around the fields so back home I'm about to butcher a turkey you know I think with turkeys I'm gonna start hunting them with a camera because they're so beautiful when they come in full strut and then you blast them and what do you have you know dead turkey <laughs> just it doesn't really have a lot of meat on it that you really want to use um, I'm not gonna pluck this thing I'm just gonna rest it out get what I can out of it but, um, it's a lot of fun turkey hunting but uh, I'm thinking I, I'm gonna switch to a camera I keep threatening to do that but Anyhow, I hope you learned something and enjoyed that. So, Ms. Canthus with a tree planter works really well. Uh, I have a client who uses, uh, like my buddy John, he uses a tree planter that he built himself for that. And he said he's never had a problem. So, but he's a real MacGyver. He, he put together a planter that will work perfectly. So, that's the way to do it. And uh, stay tuned subscribe and we'll see how this all turns out uh, everything got planted today I have an eight-way mix that went in there and then in the fall we'll put some more fall type stuff in there fall winter spring planting and yeah over the next three years we should get the soil health built up again and the grass will get tall and the deer will get big all right see you on the next one